Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can practice your PLC programming skills using several exercises. So I've created many exercises for you to start from scratch. So if you go to Wikipedia of Code and Compile, which is wiki.codeandcompile.com, and if you go on the left side to PLC, Alan Bradley, Micro 850 PLC, PLC Exercises Part 1. If you go get PLC Exercise Part 1, if you go here, you will see several PLC exercises. So in the beginning, I have defined some variable types, data types, variable declaration, and remarks. Okay, and if you go down a little bit, you will see section one, CDs and parallel logics. Write a program when x start is true, x motor should be true, and when x start is false, x motor should be false. This is just a very simple question, and you can solve that using letter logic, FBD, or structure text. And if you don't know how to solve it, we have solutions within the course. I'm going to show you shortly. So section one is series and parallel logic, for, and then you have section two with latching and interlocking using contacts, and then you have RS and SR flip-flops, and use of timers, use of timers with comparators, so several exercises for you to test your skills, and use of counters with comparators, and use of variable with math operators. So this is like a basic exercise. I'm building another part of it, which will be PLC exercises part two which is under construction, but you can go ahead and solve these exercises. And now the important part is where do you find the solutions? So if, if you're in the course, you can go to the lecture, Wiki, PLC, Exercises, Solutions. I expect you to solve that yourself first, but if you're unable to solve it, you can for sure check the solutions. And the solutions you will find, you, can, you have to click on this icon here, it will be something like that and you click on that and then you will find the solutions and if you click on the solutions you will get the option to download the solution so i've already downloaded on my desktop i'm going to show you how to use that solution it's very important so let's go back again here again and let's see i will uh, select the question uh, let's say this one section five example three write a program such that when x start is true and x start a is true x start b is false Lamp A and B should blink continuously with a delay of one second. And when B is true and A is false, the lamp should blink continuously with a, with a delay of two seconds. So it's like a blinking logic. In other situations, the lamp should not be on. All right, so this solution you will find in our course for that. And it will be something like, I can show you that here. This is the folder you will get. Section one, two, three, four, five, and section five, and third, this is the solution. And how you can open that, this is an archive. So you can go to your CCW, go to the file, and click on import. Once you do that, you can open the file from here, S05E03. This is what we want to check. You can click on open, and then it will ask you to create a folder for your project. All right. And then it will extract the project in that folder and open that in CCW. I'm sure you already know that. So once your project is loaded here in a few seconds, now you can see that on the left you have solutions in three languages. You have FBD, and in FBD you will see several blocks working together. And if you click on letter diagram, you will see the same solution in letter diagram. And if you click on structure text, you will see the same solution in structure text. All right, now the question is how to solve this, how to visualize the solution. In this case, first thing is you have to activate your simulator. So this you already know from the last videos how to activate the simulator and if you are using a real PLC you can also you can also utilize it on the real PLC like I do most of the time. All right so here you have to notice down your IP address and activate your simulator and go to your PLC program project and here make sure you have the same IP address as your simulator. If you're using it already you know that this is recommended or this is mandatory. Once you do that all you have to do is download the code into your PLC simulator. If you have a real PLC, you can download into your real PLC. So in, as I told you before, these three solutions can be realized together on this simulation or on the real PLC because the IOs are divided. So we have specific inputs for letter logic, specific for FPD and specific for structure text. So the first seven inputs are assigned for FPD and the next seven for letter logic and the rest for structure text. So this was like a fault before. I'm going to download and reset the fault. 
And we're going to see real quick how we can solve the logic. So the question says you have, um, you have a condition like if two inputs are on, this was this one, if start A and start B, uh, okay, start A is true, start B is false, then the two lamps will blink with a delay of one second. And if it's the opposite, start B is true and A is false, the lamp will blink with a delay of two seconds. And in the other situation, nothing should happen. Kind of like a ZOR operation. All right, so let's run the controller. It will run for 10 minutes, as you already know. Simulation has limitation. So FBD, this is the solution. And let's go online. And I'm going to show you here. So this is just to show you how you can visualize the solution. There you go. FBD is on and live. And now if I trigger just first input, you will see two outputs are blinking with a delay of one second. This was the question, how we have solved it here. And you can see that real-time simulation happening here. Okay. And if I activate the other one, now the output will be on for two seconds and two seconds off. So these seven inputs from 0 to 77, 7, these eight inputs, I think it's seven from 0 to 06, 07 is for letter diagram. So 0 to 00 to 067 inputs are reserved for FVD. Simulate for the outputs, 00 to 06 are reserved for FVD. And then if I click on seven, then I will have the logic running for our two outputs, but this is running in letter diagram. So how cool is this? You have one simulator and I'm solving one logic with FBD and one logic with letter diagram. And now I can also activate my solution for structure text, which are taking the inputs from 14 to 27 and output from 14 to 19. So this, you can see that this IO address I'm using in structure text from 14 and 15. So I have three solutions for the same questions in different programming environment. And you can simulate that in PLC simulator using all the solution altogether. You don't have to re-download to check the letter diagram, FVD, or structure diagram because we have so many outputs. We can use that and define several outputs for different programming language. That's how all the exercises has been solved. All the solutions you will find subdivided into IOs. And feel free to solve that yourself. And if you couldn't, you can always see the result. Very soon, I'm going to upload PLC exercise part two. Here, I'm going to upload some exercises related to maybe some loops, some uh, analog IOs, or I don't know, some Modbus um, exercises, which might be interesting. So stay tuned in our Wikipedia in the course. I will be coming with soon new updates to talk about more exercises. All right. I hope this was useful and you can understand the importance of uh, all, three lettered, all three programming languages and solve the solutions. All right. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye-bye.